What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl Janaya Leah, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I want to show y'all a magic trick real quick. If you want to know how to go from boring to baddie instantly, I mean like right now, I'm about to show it to y'all. Watch this. Watch this. Keep keep watching. I don't know why they just squeak like that. It's that simple. It's that simple. Just put some shades on. Like I don't know why I be feeling so like luxurious when I put the shades on. Too bad I can't see myself. But yes, y'all, the shades, they do it for me every time. Like, I don't know. I also like wearing shades because they make you look, well, I feel invincible when I wear shades. I feel like can't nobody see me. But anyways, y'all, I'm trying to see how I want to wear these shades. If y'all were in, or if y'all watched my other, my last vlog, then y'all know that I sat here and hence my backseat trunk whatever i sat here did all my packing and putting stuff into the car just to have my move-in date pushed back by a, by a week not a day not two three days an entire week so today is thursday i was supposed to be moving in tomorrow but my move-in date got pushed back so i won't be moving in until next friday and part of me if you saw in the last vlog how full and packed my car was i had to take it out i had to take it out because part of me was like girl you know what we just gonna stay in the house for a week and i promise y'all i could i could have did it i could have stayed in the house for a week but it's only it ain't even been 24 hours and i was just sitting here like dang i'm not staying in this house for a week so with that man said i had a sudden urge today to just go to the store now i don't really have anything specifically that i need to buy at the store but walking around like target ross marshall's it just always makes me feel better and i told y'all before my favorite part about this moving process is going to be me going and buying all them cleaning supplies which i'm not going to do today because i'm sticking to what i told myself before and i'm not going to buy all the small stuff until i'm actually in there but I didn't say I couldn't go look at it. So with that being said, we finna go stop at all these stores. And I also wanna stop at the extra stores too because so far I've only really visited Big Lots, Target, and Ross looking for, you know, just like home supplies and stuff like that. But I've recently heard that places like Marshalls and stuff like that, also you can find really, really nice stuff like for the low. And the main couple things that I'm looking for um, I definitely need some rugs, some lamps, and then those are just the things that I need. But then as far as it goes like with decoration, I want to find, you know, some cute little vases, maybe some pompous grass because that's real cute. And I'm looking at my neighbor yard right now, and I don't know if that's considered pompous grass. Hold on, let me let me zoom in because I'm looking. The DIY is kicking in, y'all. Hold on. Let me zoom in here for y'all. Ooh, my camera finna fall off. Let me zoom in here for y'all because i don't know if i'm tripping or not but i don't know y'all we might we might have to go uh neighbor can i borrow some sugar whatever <sighs> but yeah so that was that and it was so crazy because when i tell y'all i boxed all my hair up boxed all my wigs up boxed my makeup up boxed everything up luckily something told me well because i knew i only had a couple more days left so i didn't take my makeup or my clothes and stuff downstairs or nor did i tape the box closed so luckily i'll just be living out of a box for the next week it's okay it's fine but anyways let's go ahead and go to the store hear me out hear me out drake top three top three honestly i'm gonna be straight up with y'all i'm saying top three but i'm really being modest because drake is like the number one rapper in my mind i really don't listen to that many like rappers but i'm telling y'all ain't nobody ain't nobody out here beating drake i just wanted to come out here and say that simple as that okay y'all so our first stop was at shoppers world and i really have not been to the shoppers world like the one that i went to today before so this was like a first time for me automatically walking in the um the the european whitewashed jesus portraits kind of threw me off but other than that they had like some really cute like decorations and just you know wall art that you could put up they also had some really cute mirrors and i really kind of wanted to do like this mirror wall collage type idea and so y'all will see that but more than anything i love their rugs because they have the exact i don't want to say the exact rugs i was looking for but they were just big and you know here. very know. affordable okay very good size i just want to see how much they are first this one right here is really cute Oh, 
Okay, y'all. So that was Shopper's World. And they had some really, really good stuff in there. The main things that I saw that I really liked in there were the rugs. Because like I told y'all, I was looking for rugs. And so their rugs were huge. And probably, I feel like the cheapest one I saw was like 80 And the one I liked was about... I don't think I could find the price tag on it. <laughs> but yeah, they had some really good, nice stuff in there. Only thing that threw me off, though, was that picture of the European whitewashed Jesus. Like, who is that? I'm sorry, but I don't know. <laughs> and it's like, for me, you know they was in the Middle East, right? You, you know they was in the Middle East, right? That's why, that's why it sends me. I'm just like, at the end of the day, I don't care what color Jesus is, but I'm like, come on, let's be realistic here. Let's just be realistic. Get that man some melanin. Okay, so, um... Next, we about to go around the corner to Marshall's. I just wanted to stop here because I actually never uh, stopped into that shopper's world before. So it was pretty interesting. They had mainly like clothes and uniforms in there. But towards the back, they had a little area with the rugs and whatnot. So I don't know because I think the other place I saw the, a rug was at um, Big Lots. But I couldn't really see their rug like rolled out. So I really don't know how big their rug was. But those in there were really big. But okay. Next stop, Marshalls. Now, on to Marshalls. Marshalls was really that girl. Marshalls really stepped it up. I have been in Marshalls before, but never for like home decor type stuff. So I didn't know they had as much stuff as they did. And so as y'all know, it's August. So we're currently moving like kind of on, you know, the beginning of the fall season. So they really had like a lot of farm style and just like overall fall and Halloween type decorations which i thought were pretty cute because i do love you know fall vibes and whatnot i love fall just as a season in general you know it's just very cozy so marshall's had a lot of cozy decor and they had some really cute like just bathroom stuff and also just little things that you could put up in the kitchen a lot of throw pillows blankets all that type stuff marshall's had it so i'll definitely be going back there because i did not know they had this okay Okay, this is a bonus trip because I already know everything that's in Target, but I wanted to come walk around anyway. So I don't understand why this freaking block of thread is $70. And I feel like looking at it, it looks so much softer than it actually is. That junk feels like you're sitting on a rock. So Target also has like really cute lamp options, but I don't really know what I'm going for right now. So I'm kind of still contemplating that one. Had a little list on the app though. Now these will actually be really cute if you want to do like a little montage, like wall montage or wall collage type thing. And this one specifically is really cute, but like I feel like this is something that I could definitely make myself. But I do like the size though. <clears throat> so at Target at twenty five dollars a piece, but oh well, these are actually I think these are actually ten. Okay, that's not too bad. But still, you can find these at the dollar store if you want a blank frame. Okay, y'all, so... Yeah, I had a little bonus trip to Target because I was right next door and I was like, I can't, I can't pass by without going to say, hey. But I had to get out of, I had to get on up out of there. I had to go, and I sped walk my butt up out of there because I was getting tempted. I could feel myself if I would have made that right down that beauty aisle. Mm, 
Mm -mm -mm. And I told y'all I wasn't buying anything today. I was just looking. Just window shopping. I plan to keep it that way. We're doing good so far. So, let's think. We have two more stores that we can go to. I just enjoy walking around stores, if I'm just being completely honest with y'all. I just like to get out the house and walk around Target. But we ain't gonna do Target, because every time I walk around, that walking always costs me a little something. So we ain't gonna do Target, even though we already did. We're gonna go to Big Lots, because they have some stuff as well. And then we're gonna stop, last stop is gonna be by Bargain Hunt. I haven't been there in probably like two years, so we gonna stop by there see what that's talking about and then i guess that'll be it for this video um really the uh ob <laughs> really the objective of this video is to kind of get a look at what's out there so when we do go and like pick the stuff up i know where i'm going to because initially and i'll let y'all know if this is still the plan initially i was going to go pick up my rugs from big lots but after going to shoppers world and seeing what they working with I don't know about that and I mean it's not a crime to have multiple rugs or anything because you want to switch it up like with the season but we'll talk about that later so yeah let's go <sighs> impromptu stop Ashley home store because I've never been in this one so I heard they got some good stuff and it's Ashley home store so why would they not have some good stuff why would they not and last but not least Ashley home store and like I said before this is kind of like an impromptu trip because it wasn't even on my list originally but i can tell you right now i sped through ashley home store only because child they had like pillows for 60 dollars. so if you kind of trying to work on a little budget maybe don't do ashley home store right now but they did have some very cute stuff it just was not within the price range i was working with for example that blanket right there i guarantee that blanket was like over 60 dollars, and i was just like what it was cute though but yeah Okay, y'all, so Ashley Homestar was the bomb. And it's always so funny. This is why low key, I don't be wanting to walk around with my camera. But like when people ask me, like either while I'm recording, or like if I do YouTube, I'll say yeah, but I'm not gonna lie, it still feels awkward. Um, but hey, it's how I pay the bills. So I'm gonna just keep on answering at this point. Okay, so next stop is Big Lots and Bargain Hunt, take two. So let's go. And finally, Bargain Hunt. I ended up not going to Big Lots because they had some type of sewage problem and it smelled terrible in there. But here's Bargain Hunt and to be frank, Bargain Hunt was not given what it was supposed to give. They did have a few small things, but I really don't think home decor is like their specialty because yeah, they really, yeah, they didn't bring nothing to the table. So, the end. Okay y'all, so I am back at home in my empty room and that was basically all for the little window shopping today i feel like you know it was pretty cool and i'm happy that i did do it so i can see who got what and what i want and i think i saw some pretty good stuff out of these stores today so i can't wait to go back in and actually buy the things that i want but as y'all know i'm not trying to buy anything because i already got enough boxes downstairs right now but i will be back sometime next week so just stay tuned but you already know click smash smash the subscribe button down below and i will see y'all on my next video